Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to give you a quick, as I can, guide to the five platforms I think you should be using as a YouTuber, someone who want to grow your channel, you want to make or earn more money outside of YouTube. There are multiple ways of, of earning money as a YouTuber. I'm going to give you five platforms to dive into and consider and think, how do I, how do I get the most out of my channel? How do I earn monthly recurring revenue that guarantees me a little bit of stability and a little bit less pressure than just creating YouTube videos. If you come to punk.tv or it will be punk.com, you will see the five that I am going to go through. You will see at the top there are more ways to monetize your passion than just YouTube AdSense. So for those that don't know YouTube AdSense, when you play a YouTube video, the adverts in front of it or the memberships, or the uh, super thanks, or the chat super chats, you get paid via YouTube AdSense. Uh, the advertisers pay YouTube AdWords, and the YouTube AdSense pays you. But outside of that, not being monetized, I still think you can earn money. And these are the five platforms I'm going to go through. Right, so let's dive in. I have put these in a specific order of... Uh, how you need to progress your channel. Think about your channel as a professional content creator, as a pro in your mind that you want to turn this passion into a business or you want to go to the next level. We're going from amateur creator to pro. So the first one on the list, if you are a one human army like me, you do everything, you're the head cook and bottle washer, you do the accounting, you do the social media posts, you do everything, then Zoho One is 40 plus business productivity apps for a dollar a day that is an absolute no-brainer. I think it's a no-brainer for any business, but obviously if you're a one human army, 30 day free trial, no credit card required, this um, this platform is so big and, and the capabilities are so huge, I had to create a separate website and a separate forum for it. So you'll see 30 day free trial, um, Easy to set up, no credit cards required, and uh, because this is my sign up, that you won't get bothered with people trying to make sure that you sign up after your 30 days. I will leave you to it. If I don't provide you enough training on how to use it, then you just bin it off after 30 days. But hopefully you'll see the value uh, of what is capable for this. So let's just show you the pricing first, right? Before we dive in, because you can skip this section if you're not interested in it. Pricing is here. 30 quid a month if you pay um, annually or 35 quid a month if you pay monthly. Now, what you're going to get for that is 40 plus apps. There's actually some more apps I need to add to this list. I'll dive through them quick because I don't want to slow you down in this video, but I want you to get the full grasp of turning pro, running your entire business with Zoho One. So Zoho One is the whole thing. 40 plus apps. Zoho Mail is a, a professional email. Getting away from the Gmail, my email at gmail.com. Putting in um, whatever your, like for me, um, my name at pnuk.com or my name at um, pnuk.tv. Professional email, Zoho CRM. Being able to manage your contacts, manage your sales ideas. Thinking up of new deals. What can I make money? Managing brand accounts, managing brand customers or the people that are selling you brand deals. All, all your customer contact information, emails between them, history, signups, contracts, all saved in the CRM. So projects is managing your projects. I've got to go out filming today. What do I need? I need these cameras. I need this camera person. I need the editor to be on standby. I need the graphic designer to be doing this. Project management, Zoho Books, a full accountancy program. Running your business accounts, tracking your income, um, your revenue, your costs, uh, your tax, your VAT, everything in an accountancy platform. Zoho Campaigns, newsletter management getting your newsletter out to your viewers or your customers saying, hey, I got a new video out, stuff like that. Zoho Social, cross-posting your social media posts in one place and manage them, manage comments. So I'm thinking like at the same time you can publish 
a post to Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group, LinkedIn, LinkedIn page, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, I think. Uh, and I think they just added TikTok. So managing cross-platform social media and as you grow, allowing other people in so they don't need access to your social media, but they can post to it. So well, backstage is running events, ticketing system. So you've got a, you've got a, a, I don't know, you've got a golf event and it's 40 quid per person. You put this on the uh, on your events page. Zoho Backstage takes the money, gives you a, an app so you can notify the people coming to the events, anything new. It is event management platform and a website. Zoho Sites, creating your own website. Zoho Subscription, managing your memberships, managing uh, subscribers, recurring payments, stuff like that. Zoho Connect's an interesting one. Because on the next chapter, I'm going to tell you to do your own forum. But Zoho Connect, you should think of like your own Facebook, your own internal Facebook, where you maybe you'd offer it to VIP members, but it is a, a pretty much a Facebook type platform. Zoho Bookings is letting people connect with you, telling you what times you're available for calls. Zoho Desk is customer service management, ticketing. So if people have got questions about your event, you can basically say email support at like pnuk.com uh, and it'll create ticketing systems so that you can get back to people who are asking you questions. Contracts and sign, you know, we can you can draft up contracts. Maybe you've got people coming on your website. Maybe you've got people coming on your podcast and you need a contract that says they are happy for you to post their image or they're, they're, they're allowing you to use them on that site. And then Zoho signs like an e-document. Check out a commerce. Check out is like a quick way of selling stuff. Zoho Commerce is a full e-commerce platform. Analytics and page sense, looking at your stats. Zoho Sales IQ, live chat box on your website. Zoho Inventory, managing your inventory. Oh, Zoho Click is an internal communication platform. It goes on and on for a dollar a day or a pound a day or 35 pound a month. This platform is going to run your entire business. And it is, as you turn pro, it is something you need to consider in the background. So this is running and managing your business. And I have a full training platform, a full forum for all of it, because you can imagine there's a lot of learning in that. But you will see that uh, I'm going to provide training. I'm going to provide questions and answers, anything you need. Obviously, I'm a Zoho partner. I can get questions from the bosses. Uh, uh, there's over 80 million users on that platform. So um, I think you can tell, I think it's a no-brainer. It is a huge platform for the money. And I can't, I've not seen anything that matches the value that you get. Uh, and starting out, turning pro, go with Zoho One. All right, so that, that was sort of part one. And it's about running your business, the back end of your business. Now let's offer more value to your viewers, to your um, your fans, subscribers, let's offer more value, and uh, but also bring it into your business. And the second on the list is build your forum. I am a big fan of creating your own forum, taking people off platform onto your website, give it, getting emails, names, contacts. If you get banned from YouTube, let's hope not. If you get banned from Facebook or Twitter or whatever else you're building a community, on somebody else's platform, how are you going to let these people know where you are? Build your community, your community, your rules. No technology required. This is going to cost you 20 bucks a month to get started. I have two forums, the, the forum you've just seen for Zoho One and my Punk TV forum or the Punk Forum. Uh, it is Now, th this is... What's called a discourse forum, but I use a platform called Communitech to host it. Now, there's cheaper ways of hosting it yourself, but I'm a lazy human being. I value my time and I want this platform to just work. And with no technical knowledge, I want to save myself time. And at 20 bucks a month for the basic plan, it just works. I'm going to do a video and I'll show you. You can have this set up and working within, um, I would say, an hour. I'm pretty sure in an hour you'd be up and running and inviting people in. Now, the beauty of 
the discourse forum. Simple to use, easy to use. You can share it on your website. You can do lots of things. You can manage and change things. You can lock down categories to members. So say this um, YouTube list category, I only wanted members of my Patreon or members of my, wherever, wherever I'm hosting my membership, the users that are members, I can lock this category down so it's only members. I can have AdSense, remember AdSense at the start of the um, the video? I could put adverts on my forum and earn through AdSense. So these advertisers are coming from Google. I don't want to click, yeah, ads by Google. I can host my own ads on there, selling my own ideas and merch and things like that. Um, and I can, I can build my own forum with value to my members, to my to my fans, to my subscribers, but you're building it on your own platform, not somebody else's. And the beauty of it being people can Google your forum. So, uh, you know, like punk forum, uh, YouTube, golf list, something like this. So your, your Facebook group will not be on a, a Google ranking, nothing inside your Facebook group. You might have the greatest conversation between members that no one's ever going to see because you can't Google it. Look, forum. And they're coming in. And and that is the list, right? This is actually the main website that's broken that I need to fix. But the forum itself is Googleable. So it lives online. Even if you lock stuff down, it's still Googleable. Is that the right word? So it, you're living now and you're catching other people from outside of it. There's loads of cool features. If you go to YouTube Golf, you go to the Golf Channel and hit map. I, c I can map out members. I can say this is where people are. You know, um, where are we going to go? I might say Coventry. This is GMAC in Coventry. I can link to their website. I can link to a website, my own website, from a map. I can do lots of things within Discourse that, that uh, benefits the viewer, benefits the subscriber, but also grows my channel. There's little prompts you can say. I don't think I've got the Patreon switched on, but after like five or ten views, you can say, hey, you seem to be liking my uh, forum. Why not consider joining my Patreon? And they can jump to it. And it's easy to use. It's easy for your subscribers. It's easy for people to dive into so for example and it's easy to um to link to another website so this is my main website if we go to the youtube golf rankings list here you'll see at the bottom forum post forum comments let's just get rid of this and these are people who have commented on that youtube golf list in the forum even though we're not on the forum now we're on my main website but i can dive in and do cool things to interact with people more like this one here from Lewis. So I can reply to Lewis. He's put fantastic website. Love your channel. Quote that. Hey, uh, thanks at Lewis. Welcome aboard. Uh, been watching some of your videos. Look great. Even though <laughs> I can't speak French. Right, maybe an emoji. But you've replied, you've quoted what they've said, you've replied to their tweet. If I go back to here, it's going to show on my website as well. The All the things that are a little bit broken here is because I changed from punk TV to punk.com. So I need to just go back and refresh and, and the images will show back up again. So that look, that's on my website again. So this is punk.com, but the forum post is being shown in my website. And obviously you can tag and jump around your users and things like that. Discourse forum, look, Google AdSense. So, so getting paid by YouTube, also now getting paid by YouTube via Google AdSense adverts on my forum. The, the um, better user functionality and the things you can give to your users and get your users collective. Look, if I were a YouTube golf channel, I'd be looking at the map function and saying, these are the golf courses where you get a discount if you use my 
if you're a member of my forum, if you're a member of my um, Patreon. Here are the places where golfers are getting together uh, in their own society of my fans. So if you want a game of golf in Coventry, here's the Coventry uh, fans of your channel. Loads and loads of things you can do on Discord. Discourse, sorry. Discord's a different thing. Loads of different things you can do. And again, I'll provide uh, forum, I'll provide training in a more in-depth way. But I honestly believe Discourse will give a huge amount of value to you, your community, and getting people on your website. Right, on to level three. <laughs> That's what we're calling it. These two, I think, are closely together. But I think the the modern way of launching a podcast alongside your main channel is a great thing that you could that could coexist so if you're doing entertainment or you're doing teaching or you're doing anything being able to jump on and do a quick podcast have a chat maybe get some guests on you know do things uh, to to help grow the main channel with a podcast on the side you see every golf you see every golf youtuber you're seeing a lot of big youtubers do this and I did a video yesterday or the other day before saying, in fact, if you go Punk TV here, this video, I've only got 16 views because you probably don't understand what I'm on about at this point on this channel. Turn your content into a podcast with Buzzsprout. So what I did there is showed you in this video, the same video here. Now, a little bit jump back on that forum, sharing your YouTube videos in your forum as well. So people are watching your YouTube videos off YouTube and you're gaining more views. But what I said in that video was you you can quickly take your um, your YouTube videos, download them and upload load them as an episode. So that's what I did in that video. I did a podcast or live Zoom call with Liam and I took a, a part of that and posted honest, it. Liam's done it in the golf mate, but the fact is I bet there's not... Right, so that becomes a podcast, the same YouTube content. Obviously, you might want to do it better, or you probably want to do it better, but it is so simple to set up. You'll be up and running on Spotify, I would say, within an hour. And this is, if you go to directories and listed, all I did was click a button, list on list your podcast on Spotify. And before you know it, you're on uh, Spotify. So there's more to Buzzsprout, but I've seen other platforms and I've seen how hard they are to sort of tinker with, get things working. You can literally upload the same video you were going to post to YouTube. To So if you've got a podcast on YouTube, Buzzsprout's a no-brainer. Um, and then you're going to get listed across all these different platforms when you set them up. So it is a little bit... Um, uh, where are we going? So here. So to upgrade... Uh, I think so it depends how much content you're going to put out as to how much you're going to spend the free version which is what I'm on at the minute I will launch a podcast on Buzzsprout eventually when I pull my finger out and work out how the content I want to share probably stuff like this really um so I uh, the thing with the free version is you're, you you're going to lose the episode after 90 days so if you're a current event and doing less than two hours a month use the free version but if you want to get six hours a month content or if you're up to 12, you can see how much it's going to cost you. But again, I'm a lazy human being. I value my time. I want this to be the simplest way to get a podcast out on um, on to Spotify and Apple and things like that. And then other ways of earning money. Buzz, Buzzsprout can put ads on that you can earn that you need to be eligible for. They can also do, I think, uh, ad reads and things like that for you if you um, if you sell or send things out via that. I need to look into that a little bit more. But honestly, when it comes to podcasts, Buzzsprout, simple to launch, easy to get going. And if you think, like a YouTube channel, there's a lot of podcasts that are going to, you're going to do seven episodes and fail. So you might as well fail quicker than than spending bloody hours on a platform, building, uh, working it all out, getting everything working. And then after 10 episodes, you can't be asked with your podcast or it's not for you. Do it on Buzzsprout, get going, and fail quicker. That might sound negative, but but if it's an option to podcast, do it on a simple platform. You can always move later. 
Right, on to level four. I know I'm rattling along. I understand that all of this I'm going to build into separate training courses over on uh, Punk Training. Inside here, and this is what's getting me too uh, teachable, there will be teachable training courses for all of these things coming back. I annoyingly went away from teachable because I'm an idiot. Grow your grow a course, grow your audience, build a business with Teachable. I've done lots of Teachable videos, and I I kind of moved away because I saw that a lot of coding channels were doing long form videos, like three hours long, and moving their training to YouTube. So I sort of fell out with Teachable, and I was stupidly wrong to do it. I had over three thousand people signed up. I was only doing free training courses, but Teachable is the easiest way to do um, online courses, online membership, online coaching, uh, digital downloads. It is simple to use, but it isn't cheap anymore. But I want you to think of a few things as you go and look at teaching platforms. If you go to... Um, Let's go Punk TV, right? And then go to the YouTube list again. So the YouTube golf list, the easiest to um, to, to navigate through, really. And me explain what other top YouTubers are doing. Now, Rick Shields doesn't have a website, doesn't do forums. I think he's missing a trick. Danny Maud website. Danny Maud is selling coaching. Coaching plans. I think it's 20 bucks a month. I'm not sure where the... Uh, 20... Get coached, practice plans, drills, not free videos, price plans. But Danny Moore, I think, does it through Kajabi. Here we go, $19.99 a month. So it's a membership website that you can give content to, allow content across um, anything you're teaching, entertainment videos. You could, don't look at this as just coaching. You could look at it as, as a behind the scenes videos, um, members only videos, membership plans, VIP access to your groups on your forum, lots of different things you can do within membership teaching, one on one teaching, coaching, stuff like that. Me and my golf do it too. Me and my golf's website. Again, seven day free trial, join our plan, 16 quid a month. So this is. Not a cheap platform anymore, but I've gone back to it and I will be, I will have lots and lots of um, training courses back on here. Annoyingly, I moved away from it. The pricing isn't cheap and I, and I kind of think, um, I, I don't like that this monthly pro plan's gone to 119 and if you pay under, you know, 160, because that's kind of what you need because you, there's now limitations on the cheaper version where the courses, you can only have five courses, where you need the unlimited courses. I know it comes with coaching and stuff like that, but what I want you to look at on Teachable is this could be your website, this could be membership, this could be internal coaching, external coaching, and there's a few other things to look into, specifically affiliate marketing. So if I think, um, I don't think, I know... And I'll, cut, I'll do other videos about affiliate marketing. Teachable pay 30% commission for people signing up. So if you're a golf YouTube coach, right, let's make that for example, obviously if you're any kind of coach, and you've got a network of coaches, and you build a website on Teachable, and your mates say to you, hey, your website's really cool, I really like how you're doing all that, how do you do it? You say, here, use Teachable, but sign up with my link, you get paid 30% commission for everything they use. So you've only got to sign three, four people up, and after the fourth one, you're going to be earning affiliate money that pays for your own platform. Now, if you do sign up the pro, if you sign up with uh, code PNUK50, you get the first two months at 50% off. But that's not why I love Teachable. What I look like about Teachable I'm a lazy human being. The website's broken. Um, I'm a lazy human being. I'm not, uh, you know, I want things to work simply. I want things to do things easily. And the best thing about Teachable versus Kajabi versus Thinkific versus um, 
doing learning management systems on a WordPress vlog is the back office optional 2%. They're going to take 2% of your sales and you might be horrified by that. But if you've got a membership platform of £3 a month and you're VAT registered or you've got to put everything through your accounting program, every time somebody pays, goes through Stripe, you've got to say, right, um, they live in Sweden. How much, how much VAT do I have to pay to Sweden? They live in uh, Italy. I've got to go and pay VAT in Italy. They, play, they live in Spain. What's the VAT commission? Teachable takes care of it. Now, this is huge because when they send you your money, that your earned money, whether you do it daily or monthly, when you put it through your business accounts, all you've got to say is that is revenue from Teachable. You don't have to say there's 18 different countries bought bloody things and I've got to track everything. You could sell merchandise on this. Uh, you know, you could sell um, everything you sell from, from a pound to 10,000 pound courses. You have to track through your accounting and Teachable will do it for you. Now, I, not only is it simple and easy to set up, that for me is huge. I ain't got time to piss about with accounts, right? But Teachable works and it's easy and I've got lots of videos on Teachable and I will have lots of teaching. I will have lots of more content going through. But I think building your platform, building your membership site through Teachable and letting somebody else do the accounting will save you so much pain. The only pain really that is annoying is that Teachable's pricing has gone up. It did used to be 99 bucks a month. But I guess global... Uh, you know, um, expenses in the world going up, platforms have got to stay alive, aren't they? But again, remember, 30% commission, and in future videos we'll talk about affiliate marketing and things like that and trying to earn more money as you spread your wings. So the, third, the fourth on the list is Teachable. I think it's really cool, easy to use. I'm an idiot for going away from it. Right, number five on the list of things is Merch. I honestly think a lot of YouTubers should not be spending much time thinking about merch or selling merch or prattling about with designs until you've got to a certain level where you think people are actually going to want to buy it. Merch is great for you to wear, for brand awareness, for you to give away for um, in, in giveaways, in, in competitions. That's what merch is great for. So you need to do, at the start of your journey, do it as simple as possible don't start buying a thousand hats because it's a dollar a hat and you think, oh, my hat's only cost me five quid. You'll give, you'll give 950 of them away. Shopify and Printful makes it really easy. So Punk TV or Punk.com is hosted, powered by Shopify. Shopify, you can get, I believe, where's pricing? Big button at the top says pricing. For 19 bucks a month, there is an option for a dollar trial. Here we go. Extend your free trial for a month, one pound a month, when billed monthly. Oh, pound a month. So you can sign up for free, and I think you get seven days, but you can make it a month by paying a pound. Uh, for free? It doesn't make sense. Extend your trial for one pound month, stroke a month, on your first three months when billed monthly. So that reads that you... All right, so, you're gonna, so when you sign up, you're going to get... Um, you're going to, basically, it's going to cost you three quid for the first three months. It's a current deal they've got on, right? So I adapted Shopify. I don't, I'm not somebody who's going to sell a lot of merch, unless you all want to walk around in punk hats and, cap and cups and things. But it is so easy to use. And with Shopify, you can tinker with it. You've seen me click on the YouTube rankings. You've seen me go to the profile. In theory, all of these are products. There's no way you're going to do stuff like this. But if I go to that Danny mode, I have completely changed a product page so that it shows a profile for a golfer. So it, it is customizable, which is not what you come for. What you come for is how do I sell a hat? So if I go punk hat and I go punk bobble hat, here we go, $24.99. Estimated delivery, Printful have put this, estimated delivery. Uh, to the United Kingdom is 16th of March to 20th of March. That hat does not exist. When somebody buys it, it will create an order that automatically goes to Printful. 
Printful get me to say yes, send that to that customer, and uh, you can uh, you can create the create the product and send it out. I think it makes about five or six quid because what I've done is included uh, free shipping, so that's why it's twenty five quid because it working out shipping everywhere in the world is a pain in the arse, right? So again, punk hat, another punk hat. Create it, send it out, and you're on your way. No danger, right? So there's this. This is why I like um, Shopify and Printful. I'll quickly maybe. Do you want me to show you how to build a a product quickly? If we go here, again, training will be provided for all steps: signing up, setting up Printful, and sign up and setting up for. Um, Shopify, right? So I'm going to go, it's a while since I've done it, but uh, Printful app. And I'm going to create, what should I create? Well, I'm not signed in. I don't know if that's my email either. Oh, it is. So I want to add a product to my punk shop. I'm going to add a product. Let's add like, um, what should we add? Coffee cup, a hat. Should we go with bucket hat? Let's go with a bucket hat. Reverse bucket hat, right? So I want to put a bucket at, and I have got some designs already in. So I choose a file. I can do a... a da -da -da. I want it to be embroidered. Because the first time that you do embroidery, that then you have to pay for the design. I actually like, in Vegas, there was a load of... Holy crap. Um, there was a load... Yeah, that, this was not a good option. It's a print. This is a print hat, isn't it? I, I wondered when I saw it. So let's go with vintage dad hat. I saw a lot of um I saw a lot of people in USA flags on the front of them and I really like the idea of putting a Union Jack on the front which won't be very brand aware. But, uh, so bang it in the middle. Make it bigger. Okay, it's going to have to go there, isn't it? So I liked it. I would like to make that retro in a bit. Doesn't look as great as I thought on the uh, on the hat itself, but you can just get rid of that and, and um, choose a different file. So maybe let's just go with an easy option. Easy idea for now. I don't like the big punk on the thing. I like a smaller punk. Proceed to media. You can... Build up your mock-ups. You can do it with people wearing it, or you can do blank mock-ups. You know, you can... Whatever it might be, you can add proceed. You can do uh, images across the board. Proceed to pricing. This is not pricing. Oh, it is down there. Uh, so I might do uh, punk logo vintage hat, right? Give it some info. Give it some... Whatever you want to change, settings, put in hats maybe as a tag. Proceed to store. And this is, so that hat is, the retail price is, so here, the printful price is twelve ninety five. So you probably want to sell it for like twenty two ninety five. If you're doing separate, um, if you're doing separate, Oh, yeah, the shipping's here, right? Shipping. So it's going to tell you how much the shipping's going to cost. So you need to take that into account as you're creating your price. So nothing's more than a tenner in shipping. So I put 10 quid on the on the price. I'm going to make $7.37 if anybody were to buy that hat. This is going to process the logo, the hat, the image. And it's just an example that this hat didn't exist five minutes ago. But now on my store... Now, I have to tinker a little bit. It's going to create it and add it to my store. But I just want you to see how easy creating merch is. I know you're going to say, I want my merch to be the best quality. Well, that's great. But are people going to buy it? Are people really buying your merch to start with? Now, if somebody, all of a sudden, you, you sell 100 of these in your first day showing it, then... Um, I don't know why it didn't work. Edited on Shopify. I might have changed my channel name, that's why. Product, here we go. Um, sorry, what was I saying? Yes, yes, you want the quality, and yes, but you don't know what's going to sell. You don't know what people are going to buy, and you don't need the risk 
That's why I put at the start, no risk. Nothing, nothing at this point has cost you anything other than the Shopify store. View, is it going to work here? Oh yeah, we've cha I've changed the, um, I've changed the URL. I think that shop should still work though. Punk. This is going to be because I also because I've tinkered with my site. That would work for you, but I have to. Uh, I have a different template for hats than I do for my profiles that you see. It's going to take a few minutes to take over. Come on. But hopefully you're getting the gist. What I'm saying is when you go with, to Printful, you can request uh, samples of the product that you're selling. But ultimately, it's a hat or a mug or something like that that you're selling. There we go. Finally. The, and now, within 20 minutes of me prattling about, we've got a hat that can be sold, that can be um, sent out to people that you do not own, but... For 22 quid, 22.95, should have the pound on the front, shouldn't it? I have messed about on my website a bit too much. You can add to cart. You can say to people, uh, you've won a prize. You've won a piece of punk merch. Go to my website and type in, oh, I don't know if I'm going to have a discount code. Discount code free. I, don't, I wonder if that works. Uh... So yeah, so what I said at the start is merch is good for you to wear and to give discounts to, right? So you can go to discount or punk free will work probably. And say you've won a, you um, James won a hat or a piece of merch. Go to my website, type in James free and that will give you your free hat. So, oh, that didn't work either. I probably haven't code offer, yeah. I think I did that to somebody and they used it. So hey, we can go here, look, we can do it. Uh, amount of products, discount code, discount code. Uh, let's do print free. Generate. Oh, no, that's a, <laughs> that's a code itself, isn't it? Automatic discount, product discount. Value specified. Oh, it's a while since I've done this. I think it's changed. Discount. Customers enter this code. All oh, right. I think if I just did. Uh, punk print right. uh, percentage we're going to go 100% off and we're going to include uh, shipping other products combinations limited oh god yeah I didn't mean to go this deep into this in such a flaky way fixed amount collections Facebook all customers Maximum discount rate, a limited number of times this can be used. So that's why it was one before. Other products, shipping discounts. I'm not sure. No shipping discount. Yeah, they don't, it shouldn't matter, right? Sometimes the new ones offer the uh, specific collections. All right, I don't know if I've got that. This is gone. Flaky. What was it? Punk. Hat. Oh man. Punk. Happy me. Oh, no, that's not it. This one, it. This one. Vintage hat. We had that. <laughs> so you can see, you can you can play around. You can do whatever you need to do with your website, with your discounts. What did I call it? Punk. Free. Will that now apply? This discount has reached its use. Bloody no, it was punk print, wasn't it? Punk. Oh man. There we go. So now we we've given somebody a free hat, and it all it has cost us what was it? Twelve bucks plus shipping, fifteen dollars. So you can run, you could run a, a competition for your latest merch, and then send somebody it free with the comments. So I have waffled on about Printful and Shopify, but you can make it your website and you can easily add products, even though I made it look bloody hard, uh, and you can tinker and customize and do what... Another thing you can do, I, I may as well show you while I'm here, is you can promote via affiliate links to Amazon. You can add an app that will say, you might put here... Um, might change the product name to the camera I use for vlogging. 
save it. It might take a while for that to upgrade. It'll still probably say I have to refresh it a few times. But you can say these. this is the equipment I use and link it to the Amazon page. Come on. You can link it to the Amazon page that will then take somebody via your Amazon link. I'm going to do it one more time if it doesn't take. There we go. The camera I use for vlogging is this Sony XX whatever, and you can do product description and then have a buy on Amazon button. Now, it isn't syncing properly because it's actually cheaper, I noticed earlier. But now, if you send somebody to Amazon, you get 5%. I'm not sure what the exact commission is on, on a, a camera because it does uh, different categories pay out different commission. But if somebody goes and buys that, you get paid 5% commission of of that. So you can, on your Shopify, you can have a collection that says the equipment I use for vlogging, the... Uh, oh, I'm going to be sexist, the makeup I use, the um, the yoga equipment I have, the golf equipment I have. So if you go to Amazon and do golf, golf, Taylor, and what do I have, Mizuno. If your golf clubs are on there, if your golf stuff that you use, so say you play, you play in these shoes, you can grab your from your affiliate link on, I don't know if I'm logged in, am I? From your affiliate link, you grab that, create a Shopify product with a button to that link, and then you'll get paid 5%, it might be a little bit more on shoes, of anybody who comes and buys the shoes, because they might say in your videos, hey, what shoes do you wear? And then on your Shopify store, you have the shoe in a product that links to Amazon. Multiple streams of income, and Shopify, even though I made it look hard and sketchy, is easy to use. So, as always, I know it got scatty in the end, but I hopefully you see the five sort of pillars that I believe in. Zoho One for your back end, running your business, making you professional. The forum for getting people on your website and getting your own community that you are the king of or queen. Podcast, so many big channels are branching out into podcasts as well. T um, Online training courses, memberships, easily managed uh, payments via Teachable, but just honestly teaching and coaching, if that's what your platform does. Even if you're an entertainment channel, you can use Teachable to build out a private sort of members area. I then merch on Shopify and Printful. All out of Out of the five things here, four things here can be website. There's website here, website, 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 they can all be your main website. But I want you to get away from just thinking YouTube AdSense. How can I move and give value elsewhere uh, and keep earning, keep growing my channel, keep growing my business, branching out into different areas? All these things are also affiliate. If you sign up to become an affiliate of these places, there's other platforms you can recommend. 25% commission monthly, I think I earn via Zoho. I'm not sure what I haven't really I don't I'm not sure what I earn via the community tech because they, they give me the um the two platforms for free to help promote it. I think it's twenty percent. Podcast I think it's twenty percent commission. Uh teachable as we said is thirty percent commission. And I'm again I'm not sure on Shopify. I think it's twenty percent commission. So it's also building out your channel, building out what you use and then thinking when people say to me, how do you do your website? Go to Shopify, pnuk.co forward slash Shopify. And anybody sign up via your link, via your link, which is here, 20% commission. So there's a pound a month. But if they get if they get up and running, you're going to earn four quid a month. What is it? 20 pound a month. But if they upgrade because their shop explodes. I want you to think outside the box. I want you to think, I hate that expression. I want you to think outside of YouTube. I want you to think that YouTube is tough. YouTube is hard. But there's there's ways to build a business around your passion while giving unbelievable value for your expertise, for your knowledge, whatever it might be. Even if you're just a vlogger who does entertainment, the skills, the cameras, the microphones, the how to record, the how to edit. These are all teachable skills. 
And there are things you can take into your workplace. There are things you can take into your daily lives. There are things you can teach and monetize. I'm not saying you're going to get rich. This is not a get rich quick scheme. scheme. This is what I recommend. And if I met you in the street or if I met you over a call, I would say this is what I would go with. And it's not because I'm a, I am an affiliate for multiple other platforms. These are the easiest platforms to set up, work with, save you time. So some of them are more expensive, but the point is it saves you time. Your time is more valuable. And being able to get up and running and get started and not bogged down in the tech is possibly the biggest value I can give. Hopefully that has made some sense. I'm sure it is scatty and annoying, but there's a lot more to dive into individually. And as I said, free training, free sign-up help, join my forums, ask more questions. There are other platforms that are, um, I wouldn't say equally as good, but but there are other platform options out there. Uh, and hopefully we get you going in 2023 in a bigger way than just going, oh, my latest videos only got 15 views. 17 views, come on! Thanks for watching. See you all again soon. BNUKTV Punk out.